I want to show you in this video how you can apply fantastic looking transfers. Hi everyone, my name's Michael and I have this lieutenant I've painted and I want to add the markings to give it some more detail and character and I want to show you how you can get great looking transfers along the way. Being a massive fan of transfers I like to get all the sheets I can get my hands on and as you can see I've got a lot and I'm sure I can find one that I can use for this lieutenant. This is the transfer sheet. The transfers themselves are on a backing paper which they need to be lifted off using water. Start by cutting out the designs that you're going to be using. I like to cut out the groups of designs if they're next to each other rather than individually to keep things organised and tidy. The dreaded Spaceman shoulder pad. There isn't a more awkward shape to apply transfers to and it's probably one of the main reasons people tend to avoid using them. If you do come across any awkward surfaces, don't be scared to make little cuts into the transfer to help it sit better. Next you need to be able to lift the transfers off the sheet to use them. Lay your transfers onto some kitchen paper and brush your transfers with some water, making sure to apply it to both sides to make sure the backing paper is soaked through. Leave them to soak for a couple of minutes and you should be able to slide the transfer around which means they're now ready to put on your model. You want to give the transfer a nice even solid surface to stick to, so I'm going to be using hard coat which is a gloss varnish. You want to paint this on the entire area the transfer is going to be sitting on to avoid any notable difference to the finish later on. By the way, I tend to prep all the areas while waiting for the transfers to lift off the sheet. Just saves me waiting around doing nothing. Now it's the big moment where we take the transfers and place them on the model. You want to use a wet brush for this because the water will give you that little bit of extra time to move the transfer around until it's positioned how you want it. Um, give me a minute. I've placed all the transfers I want to use but you can see they're not flat against the surface and they've got a few wrinkles in them. So I'm going to be using some microset and for me this is what makes the difference with transfers. It's a solution that softens the transfers allowing them to conform to the surfaces better and thins them out giving them a more painted look. Using a brush I'm dabbing over and around the transfer to make sure it's covered. Then you'll want to give it some time to soften the transfers. You may need to use another coat if you feel the transfers need some more help conforming to the surface of your model. And again, give it some time to work. When that coat's dried, you may notice little wrinkles or bubbles that have appeared in the transfers. Don't worry though, we can sort those out. I like to use a moist cotton bud, and using a roller motion you can press out any imperfections that appear, and it will further conform the transfers to the surface. We now want to get rid of those glossy surfaces. I'm going to use Lamy Medium to bring them back to a matte finish, to match the rest of the model. Start by cleaning the areas to get rid of any residue and dust first. Then paint the areas we used the gloss varnish on earlier. You may need a couple of coats to get rid of the gloss varnish though. And to finish off, once the Lamy medium is finished drying, you can use a dry brush to buff the areas helping the transfers to look more like they've been printed or painted on. Here's the finished lieutenant and I hope you can see you can get some nice looking transfers to help give your models more detail and character with a little patience and practice. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and got something from it. If you have, please like the video and comment. It shows YouTube you've enjoyed it and it'll be shared out to more people. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the description below which will link you to an article where I go over applying transfers in more detail. Remember to keep practicing, try new things and I'll see you in the next video.